This is how to guarantee a silkiest, creamiest, most perfect leche flan. It melts in your mouth. First, get your mold. If you want to be traditional, use a Venera, one tablespoon of sugar. Now over low heat, melt the sugar until it becomes amber in color. Let this cool down and harden. Now gather 10 egg yolks, 12 if your eggs are small. And now we have a ton of egg yolks. We also have a ton of egg whites. What do you think we should do with this? Comments are open. Rule number one, don't over stir. With a very light hand, break your egg yolks. Unlike creme brulee, which uses white sugar, leche flan uses condensed milk. This will be a source of not only sweetness, but that creamy setup texture you'd look for in a flan. So get a brand that's thick yet affordable like Jolly Cow. One can of that. Again, stir painstakingly until it's one with the yolk. Then add a 14 ounce can of evaporated milk. You know the drill. Whisk slowly. We're also gonna add some salt for personality and a squeeze of lemon and a squeeze of lemon juice. This is optional. A splash of vanilla. You can see already how creamy that is. Rule number two is to strain the mixture two to three times with a fine sieve to really eliminate air bubbles that may have formed. With the last pass on the strainer directly and slowly into your llanera. This recipe yields three large llaneras, six if it's small. Give them a few taps on the counter before rule number three. Steam them in low heat. Bring the water to a boil and reduce it down until it's just simmering. Steam your leche flan for 60 minutes. To confirm if it's cooked, you can try to open one. If you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean, you're good to go. Let them cool down to room temp before putting in the fridge for at least two hours. My camera's in the fridge! Get my camera! Get my camera! Get it! To serve, simply remove the foil and invert onto a plate. Now you're ready to enjoy. It's so perfect! The right amount of caramel and a silky smooth flan.